this is our teacher Aryan and uh, I'm going to uh, explain I mean this time the entrance of the first book I mean I'm going to start with you the le uh, the the learning of English or how to say to teach you all of you who need it who need the English uh, I'm going to start I mean with this book new total English this is the book and uh, for those who need it just contact me and uh, I will send it to you uh, as soon as I I have I mean as soon as possible uh, the, the how to say the equipments that I need to I mean to do to teach you English in the easiest way uh, will be this one I mean the book uh, th there are the pens and pencils. Uh, there are free. Th there are how to say blank books, blank sorry ba blank papers, and they're going to be the Google Translate for those who need. I mean who need to clarify some words. Uh, this I'll go. I'll be using uh, Russian and language and Arabic language since the these are the the most used i mean the most uh, the languages that most of the of my followers use i mean speak sh for sure uh, now we're going to go for with the first uh, lesson today's lesson it, it will be based on grammar so for today we will have grammar i'm going to go at the end of the I mean how to say at the end of the chapter one because they are going to be the first uh, the first I mean grammar of the of lesson one here is the the reference part which is the grammar part of the chapter one here you have all the the new words I'm going to read all of them right now and all you've got to do is take these words and translate them okay now I'm going to start with the first word. I'm going to pronounce, pronounce it, and then you're going to translate it by Google Translate. Okay? Now, bank, bus, uh, cafe, cafe. Uh, we have uh, then we have uh, chocolate, cinema, coffee computer doctor film football hotel internet passport pizza police uh, we have a restaurant salad student taxi telephone, television, and university. Okay, now we are going to see cafe and coffee. Now let's go to Google Translate. Now, uh, cafe, sorry, it's the building. Okay, cafe, it's the building now let's see it in arabic look now we have arabic cafe and russian cafe so it's like just like this okay now we have coffee okay now which are uh, how to say it? okay just one moment now we have cafe and we have coffee okay this is a cafe sorry this is a cafe yes this is a cafe the place where we drink and this is a coffee of what we drink okay this is the coffee this is the cafe okay don't remember that don't forget the difference between coffee 
sorry. Uh, coffee and cof cof uh, so cafe and coffee. Okay. Now we are going to go next to the first le uh, lesson. I mean of grammar. Now I'm going to go uh, step by step with levels to each lesson. So if anyone doesn't agree with the today's lesson, I'm sorry, but they have to wait about the next lesson. I mean, uh, if they can, they should subscribe and mm, pin my lesson so they can uh, they can be informed when the the required lesson is coming. So we're going to go to the uh, first as I told to the first uh, grammar we are going to start with the we're going to start to start with the verb be okay now the verb be I hope you understand it okay so we are going to start with the verb be be now we are going to say that be the verb be verb be it is is a verb and an auxiliary verb too okay the verb be is a verb full verb sorry full main sorry main verb main verb and an auxiliary verb too even in russian as you see so the verb uh, the verb be is a verb main verb and an auxiliary verb too okay for example look i am Kate, let's go here. For example, I am Kate. The verb am here. So, the verb am here. It's a main verb. Okay? Main verb. This one here, it's a main verb. Okay? main verb now let's go for the for the auxiliary verb now look i am uh, going to russia okay i am going to russia the verb am here it is not a main verb but it is a an auxil auxiliary verb okay this one am here it's a auxiliary verb okay now we have two other auxiliary verbs we have the auxiliary verbs in English are be, do, and have. Okay? Now we have this one. So this one are three auxiliary verbs. Okay? The auxiliary verbs in English are be, do, and have. Now be in Russia look what it is okay in Arabic look what it is now we have do look and in Russian okay and have the verb have okay okay and even in Russian 
today we are going to conjugate the verb be to conjugate the verbs we to conjugate the verbs we need the subject pronouns okay or personal pronouns oh sorry so to conjugate the verbs we need the subject pronouns or or personal pronouns okay now look in arabic so we have subject pronouns uh, sorry we have subject or personal pronouns these pronouns look at the book these pronouns are these i i you he she and it okay now we have subject pronouns which are i you he she it now we have i subject pronouns so we have i you he she it now these ones are all these the mentioned pronouns are or are all in singular okay are all in singular are all in singular okay the subject pronouns below are all in plural okay so we have we you and they okay so the subject pronouns below are or are all in singular in plural sorry we have we you and they even in Russian so let's mention again subject pronouns in singular are I I you we have he she and it okay in the third person we have we so then we have the subject pronouns in plural we we have you and they okay now we have the difference the difference within within the third person singular we have he which is for male we have she which is for female and we have it which is for things and uh, objects okay we have it for things and objects so we have the difference within the third person singular okay third person singular he she it okay we uh, he is for male she for female it for things and objects okay then what we are going to do next so we are going to 
conjugate now now we are going to conjugate the verb be as I told you before sorry the verb be now we have just like this just like in the book okay so we are going to conjugate the verb be just like in the book okay see you're going to we are going to conjugate the verb be so I am Kate okay just like this we are going to take them all sorry uh, we are going to see I am teacher Aryan okay you are teacher uh, teacher Emily okay he is teacher John she is teacher Emine it is it is uh, my book okay then we have the this was the singular okay the singular in singular sorry now we have the conjugation in plural okay we are you are and they are now we have I am in singular you are he is she is it is we are you are and they are that's all for the first part of the lesson now what did we do for today now I'm sorry here are in Arabic now that is all for the first part we are better say I am going to make other videos to explain the whole levels of English I hope we have a good time and I will do my best to help you all so please subscribe and follow me on the social media God bless you all now first don't forget okay so don't forget we have the sub uh, we have sorry the subject pronouns which are so don't forget what we said the, we have have the subject pronouns which are which are I, you, he, she, it. They, these are in plural. And below, 
sorry, I'm really sorry. These are in singular. And below we have the plurals. So the plurals are we, you, they, all these words. So all these words or or the all these uh can you conjugations of the verb be are in positive next time we are going to get them in negative do not forget to write the conjugation and the subject pronouns in your notebook so please don't forget this this one don't forget do all the time okay so do that all the time I hope that I was understandable okay this is in Russian sorry this is in Russian this is in Russian okay this all this thing okay then this is in Arabic okay this is in Arabic okay goodbye and salam alaikum